Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by AllAboutParrots.com. As the title suggests, today we'll be briefly discussing the topic of parrot beaks and if they can actually heal and grow back following some form of injury or illness. A parrot's beak is one of the most critical parts of the body. The beak is not only used to eat but also to climb, groom, and play. The beak is also used in mating rituals. While the beak is made of bone and keratin, the beak is not hollow. Within the beak are nerves and blood vessels. Because of this, parrots can suffer greatly if the beak is seriously damaged. Before we take a closer look at this particular issue, let's first examine today's subject matter, courtesy of this topic overview. A parrot's beak can heal, depending on the severity of the injury. If it's lightly cracked or chipped, it can repair itself. However, if a part has been broken off or the wound has fractured, the entirety of the beak, a vet may have to bandage, patch, and glue the beak together until it's stable enough to heal itself. Severely broken and fractured beaks, especially those at the base, may never grow back because of nerve ending damage. Beak damage and what is to follow can vary to extreme degrees. The situation could be quite minor and require no treatment at all or attention in any capacity, but unfortunately the situation could also be rather serious in some cases, so serious in fact that a parrot could potentially bleed to death. Infection can also present a major concern leading to other health issues. If a parrot can truly regrow a portion of its beak, it all depends not only on the extent of the damage, but the root cause in general. Before we roll out more important information, we'd like to thank you, the viewer. None of this is possible without you, so we thank you kindly for your support. We value your time, and we hope you enjoy today's content. Now, let's get started. While it might seem like a rather difficult occurrence, parrots can suffer extensive damage to their beaks. Fractures and chipping are more common than most people probably realize. And while tiny chips are normal, especially when a parrot is young, more extreme damage can lead to some rather extreme issues and outcomes. Common abnormalities are often defined as chips, cracks, tears, and pieces being broken off entirely can also occur. In some rare cases, a parrot's beak can even shatter. As we noted in our introduction, some beak damage can be so severe that heavy bleeding can occur. This can prove fatal if left unattended. Lack of proper medical attention can also lead to infection, which can place the parrot in a prolonged state of pain and also place the bird at risk for other health ailments until the infection has been remedied. Returning to our title topic, now that we've supplied the basic groundwork, a parrot can regrow its beak, at least to some degree. If the damage is only minor in nature, a small crack or a chip, it can heal just as long as it can seal itself together and the damaged area is in one piece. Since the beak is made of bone, the beak will heal just like a common bone. However, a parrot will be unable to regrow or reform the bone properly if the cracks are too deep, too wide, extreme infection has set in, large pieces have fallen off, or the beak has shattered. And if there is extensive nerve damage, particularly around the base of the beak, regrowth is impossible. If large pieces have been removed, either by trauma or illness or physical removal in a medical procedure, regrowth here again is not possible because too much structure has been removed. Nerves, blood vessels, and other critical components have been damaged or lost entirely. Think of this as traumatic amputation to a human limb, just as an example. In terms of causes, let's explore. The first on our list is illness. Cytosine beak and feather disease can cause deformities and structural irregularities in a parent's beak, making the beak fragile thus increasing the odds of a problem. This condition is extremely serious and potentially fatal. Fragile beak is just one of the many signs. Next on the list is age. The beak of a young parrot is not mature enough to withstand blunt trauma. However, chips are common, but on the flip side, older parrots have lost the ability to withstand blunt trauma. Not old enough to take it, and too old to take it. Essentially flip sides of the same coin. While all chips and breaks should never be ignored, it's a bit more concerning when it occurs in an older bird, as they are more likely to sustain long-term damage and potentially other health issues that stem from such trauma. The next possible case or cause involves improper diet. If a parrot is malnourished, it will develop a soft beak. This can be due to simply not having enough food or too much consumption of the wrong food. 
Lack of proper nutrients can create a soft beak. Parrots in captivity need a formulated diet. And our final issue of discussion within this specific subheading is that of blunt trauma. While chipping is common, as we've noted, the root causes of such chipping and more extensive damage often occur during a flying accident, rough play, and biting the bars within the cage. If you've noticed that your parrot exhibits aggressive behavior and is often stressed, make it an attempt to get down to the root cause. Figuring out the why of the matter can potentially save your pet from a beak injury. So, is there a way to avoid all of this entirely as it relates to physical injury and any form of self-harm? Can you prevent your bird from sustaining beak damage? There are ways that you can limit the odds to some degree. The first way involves the use of cuddle bones. Cuddle bones are a wonderful tool that parrots can use to positively trim their beaks in a healthy and safe fashion. Cuddle bones are also a fine source of calcium. Because many parrots suffer from a calcium deficiency, the use of cuddle bones can prove to be invaluable. We advise non-flavored cuddle bones as flavored varieties contain artificial dyes that can prove toxic. Another way to potentially eliminate beak damage is to reduce your parrot's stress level. We mentioned self-harm a bit earlier, and that can be a very real thing and very dangerous. Parrots can become belligerent, while the matter of bars within your parrot's cage cannot be penetrated by your parrot. Your bird will certainly give it a try if things go south due to stress. Biting of the bars and slapping of the bars with the beak can cause all sorts of damage. Stress reduction can once again prove to be invaluable. A content parrot is indeed a safe parrot. In a prior subsection, we spoke of malnutrition and improper diet manifesting itself in a weak and fragile beak. One of the best ways to counteract such a state is by providing your parrot with, here again, a proper diet that goes beyond seeds and pellets. A formulated diet, as we spoke of, is indeed the key. And the final way to prevent beak damage and injury, and potentially the best way, is via regular vet checkups. Regular visits to the vet will help determine whether your bird has contracted any type of disease or virus that could potentially weaken the beak. A vet visit can also be a positive way for a trained professional to examine your parrot's overall beak health. If there are a few nicks, cuts, or chips on the beak, they can potentially be smoothed out and treated properly. And on that note, that will conclude things for the video portion of our material. However, if you'd like to know more regarding this very important topic, please head on over to allaboutparrots.com. There you will find a full length and incredibly detailed and in-depth article that will cover everything that you've ever wanted to know concerning parrot beak growth following any form of illness and or physical trauma. We've got you covered at allaboutparrots.com. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, please click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of our valuable information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.